what's the urgent province of transgender person in India? India? It's the recognition. Recognition in the constitution. Recognition be as a citizen in the country. Uh, though the there are some affirmative action has taken by some of the states because India is a huge and you have like so many states under that and there are some affirmative action already has taken so far but being an Indian citizen the constitution doesn't guarantee that a transgender I mean, it's invisible we are invisible we are visible in the street but in the law in the eyes of law in the eyes of constitution we are invisible our rights are invisible so I think the emerging needs is that the government of India recognize transgender as separate identity and we exist in history today and we will be exist in future. So recognize us as, as we are and give us a full rights, rights as a citizen of your country. Mm -hmm. um, and how could advance the situation of transgender persons in Indian society? I think that uh, there are uh, several attempts has been taken by the some of the government, uh, like state government itself. Uh, some legislation has been taken, like pension scheme, national uh, legal authority provide us a free legal services. But I think it cannot be one pocket, like it cannot be one state. It should be nationalized first of all. Second thing is that the transgender welfare board should be. Uh, there at the national level so that the, our welfare scheme should be rich to us and we will be aware of it. And thirdly is that, that it should be a singular identity. It cannot be like in our passport you have a T, the identity called T which is the third gender or transgender. In, in census it's O, others. In voter identity card it's O. So it cannot be so many different identities. It should be one identity. And then while I have a passport, my uh, immigration authority should know that I am a trans person. It cannot be only with uh, certain departments, it should be you know, mainstreamed with all the departments.